everyone, it's Lupe from Bruno Planning Co. It is finally time to share with you all of the details about the new Life Planner launch. We have been waiting for quite some time, but I did just get the box today. So all I did was I took it out and I'm gonna go through it with you for the first time as well. But let's start with all of those options. So this really great graphic was posted on the Erin Condren Instagram page. I will make sure I link this down below in case you want to take a screenshot of it or if you wanna save it for later. But it shows you all of the size options, all of the interior design options, planning layouts that are available in those options and also the months that you're able to purchase them in so it's a really great graphic because again there are so many options this year it's really exciting but also a little bit overwhelming so i'm really glad that they put this out here for the coiled option usually we just have the seven by nine but now we also have the a5 size and the eight and a half by eleven size as well as you can see the a5 size is only available in a horizontal layout or the daily layout in the daily duo and the eight and a half by eleven size is only available in a horizontal layout you can also see that the daily duo whether it's the 7 by 9 or the a5 size is only going to be available in the mid-century circles design and then we have a new ring agenda which is in the a5 size and that's going to be available again in the horizontal and in the daily only and the binder will be just like last year 7 by 9 size and it'll be available in all of the different planning layouts so if you still want to be able to combine layouts a little bit more easily the binder is always a great option so again i'm going to have this link down below if you want to take a closer look now i also have all of the details on the new designs for the covers, all of the accessories, all of the bundles, which I'm going to share with you. But I wanted to take a quick moment to introduce myself for anyone who's new to my channel. My name is Lupe. I'm a high school math teacher. I love everything planning and I upload a video at least once a week on all things planning. If you'd like to stick around, I'd love it if you subscribed. And of course, if you like this video at the end, I'd also love it if you went ahead and liked it. So let's start with the coiled planners. So we have a lot of designs for new covers and these will also be available as interchangeable covers alone as well. So here are some of the new ones. So this really pretty daisy and of course we have the flora which is one of the new designs inside of the planner not typically a flower person but these are absolutely gorgeous i love how it's very artistic and very almost minimalistic i, I love the colors as well if i didn't love the mid-century circles so much then i would definitely choose the flora okay so we have some more like these skinko leaves these are cute of course a lot of mid-century circles and these are the seven by nine by the way and if you notice there will be a little bit of an increase in price if you have a metallic foiled cover so so the non-metallic ones are 59 and the metallic ones are 64. And so these are all of the new 7x9. We have some that we've seen before, like this one, the mid-century circles, which is something we've seen with the teacher planner. This one here that says you matter. Let me zoom in a little bit. It says you matter in this space as you are. I love that so much. So that's a new quote one. Some more florals. Again, these are the 7x9. We have a new Hello Kitty one, which is super cute another one here oh there's actually a few of them this teaching is my superpower was also part of the teacher launch and we have a few more okay so here is where we're going to start with the eight and a half by eleven so we have blissful garden a lot of the floral ones we're going to see ones that were very similar to the seven by nine and by the way any of the teacher planner covers will also fit because the teacher planner is eight and a half by eleven so you have all of those options as well the wildflowers are one of my absolute favorites again very similar to the seven by nine i think they might all be the same. I didn't see any that were missing. And one thing I wanted to mention is the eight and a half by 11 is a little bit more than the seven by nine. So the eight and a half by 11 is 64, whereas the seven by nine started at 59. And I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit raspy. I just got home from school. So my voice is, is kind of going here. All right, A5. So the A5 life planner starts at 55. And here are some of the covers for that. So I did hear that the A5 was not going to be interchangeable covers, but it looks like they might be because there are different covers available but we see a lot of the same covers that we see in with the other options and then we get into the daily duo so here's the daily duo it looks like it's going to be very similar to last year so last year when the daily duo was introduced you were able to customize one cover so if you can see how one covers mid-century circles in the back and one is one you can choose so you can choose any of these options let me keep going so there's a flora, a lot of the same ones that we saw before. And so you'll customize the first book or the first cover with your name and whatever you know cover you want. But then the second book will be a standard, looks like mid-century circles cover with no customization. But just like last year, they did give me a coupon for a free cover. So that way you can go back and get another cover for free and customize that one. I don't think I mentioned the cost. It looks like the Daily Duo will be $76. And then if we keep going, we have the a5 daily duo which is going to be $68 and of course we have a7 
soft bound, which is in this mid-century circles. So, so beautiful. And that one is eight by 10, by the way, if you want to know kind of the size differences. That one is $35. I know a lot of people that love the soft bound planners, especially the teacher planners. And then we get into one of the more newer options besides the A5 option, which are these really cute ring agendas. So it doesn't show it here, but let me show you on the website. So these little envelopes are so cute. I, I call it an envelope because that's what it looks like to me, but it says it's an A5 ring agenda. So I don't know. It looks really cute like an envelope. If you open it up, it has all of these compartments where you can put your notepads and some credit cards or some business cards. And then it's basically like a binder. But the great thing about this is it's not the same as the binders that we've seen before from Erin Condren. They are the standard kind of industry standard six ring binder, which is great. So if you have any inserts fit that binding, then you can insert that in here. So again, it's like a little binder, but it's also like this little envelope, which I thought was so cute. And so these are all of the options. We have the mid-century circles, the camel, which is kind of like this brownish color on the website. It looks a little bit more brown than it does on this document. You have the blush and the gold, all really great options. I think I might go with the blush or the gold. What about you? What do you guys think? What would you go with if you're getting this one? Of course, I love them in century circles, but I have so much with mid-century circles. I think I have to change it up just a little bit. And those will start at $79. Then we get into the binders, which are very similar to what we've seen before. We have champagne, charcoal, mid-century circles, and another champagne. This one just says it's the weekly version. It looks like the daily format for the binders are $65. And then the weekly format binders are going to be $55. Okay, so let's get to some of the bundles, which I know a lot of people take advantage of because they really are great deals. So here we have the floral bundle. So it looks like it comes with the life planner plus these accessories going to be the pouch, a dashboard, some fine tip markers, and some washi that correlate with the floral design, which is really great. Same thing for this mid-century circles one. We're going to have the planner, the pouch as well. I'm going to show you that one here. I have that one. It's adorable. And then the fine tip markers, the dashboard, and some washi as well. Then we have another bundle here. It looks like just accessories. So a sticker book, the pouch, some snap-in bookmarks, some snap-in sticky notes, and a pen. And then same thing for the bundle for the mid-century circles. Definitely a great deal for all of those accessories. These life planner bundles, by the way, don't look like the daily duo. So if you want the coil daily duo, it doesn't look like that's, this looks like just the weekly, especially with that price of $84. Okay. So the individual accessories, we have some ballpoint pens in the two new designs, which is the flora and the mid-century circles. Well, mid-century circles isn't really new, but definitely very beautiful. We have a new snap and checklist and a new cute design, some new colors for the interchangeable pen. I haven't actually tried these and I don't know why I haven't. Maybe because I have so many pens, um, but I would love to try those. We have a 24 pack of the fine tip markers and these two items are going to be the gift with purchase. So we have a clear glitter pencil pouch and I saw pictures of it online. It's super cute. Like it says, it's clear and it has little glitters on it. This one, it looks like it's going to be just the EC insiders. So one thing I failed to mention at the beginning of this video is when the launch dates are, which if you're watching this video, you probably already know, but if you don't, for EC insiders, it's going to be on May 3rd. And then for the general public, it's going to be on May 4th. If you are not an EC insider, or if you don't know what that means, I will have the link down below in the description if you want to check out the website. But this clear pencil pouch is going to be a gift with purchase for those people who order on May 3rd while supplies last, of course. And then the ballpoint pen will be available for everyone, even for general access, but of course, while supplies last again. And it's this cherry blossom mid-century circles. Oh my gosh, there's so many exciting accessories. Okay, so we have the floral strap. I think it looks really gorgeous. I'm sorry for the quality. This is like a document that I scanned. So this isn't the best quality, but it's like it's very light and pink and blushy, which is really pretty. Then we have some sticker packs. So these packs are the same stickers that you get inside of your life planner, but you can buy them separately if you would like to have more. So they have all the different options. They have the flora, the just my type colorful, the just my type neutral, which it looks like it might be switched. This Kind of looks colorful and then this one looks neutral so i think this document is just a little bit off if you like to store your planner in a box it looks like they have the mid-century circles these would not fit the daily duo because i think it only fits one of those books so if you have the daily duo you would either get two boxes or no boxes if you don't want to um, kind of deal with having to get two and then we have some really cute the snap and bookmarks definitely getting these three so like i mentioned before i'm not a floral person but i love this design and i think i would love just to have them as book 
bookmarks. We have some Just My Type bookmarks. There is something here, but it didn't scan really well. So this is the ruler that comes with the planners. I have a couple of them, so I can show you those. We have some more Flora Snap-in sticky notes, then some more Snap-in dashboards, mid-century circle dashboards, of course. Then we have the gorgeous sticker book. I love, I love the sticker book. I can't wait to show you. Oh, and then we have the Petite Planner, the monthly Petite Planner. It's so cute with the blush. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's definitely going on my list. And then we have some planning packs. So of course the Flora, which is gorgeous in this blue color and the mid-century circles, some new washi. Both of these sets are really cute. I I feel like I keep saying everything's cute. So the interchangeable covers, we kind of already saw these with the planners themselves. I'll go through them very, very quickly, but these are all either $8 or $13 based on the metallic or non-metallic. But again, we've seen, yeah, I think we've seen most, if not all of those covers. We also have some sticker sheets that correspond with the new designs. I love getting these even for the daily duo. If you haven't seen my layouts or you're new to me, then there are a bunch of examples on my Instagram or in my plan with me's on my channel. Loving all of these, of course. We have some personalized stationery, which correlate with the new designs. Lots of great stuff with all of the new designs. So pretty with the floral for stationery specifically. I'm really loving that. Some new notepads, of course. Every time there's a new design, that design is going to go everywhere, right? And some of the last items are the planner folios. So it doesn't say the size for the planner folios. If you are getting the eight and a half by 11 hourly, then you can also look in the teacher planner planner our folios. Those are going to be the same size. We have some new pencil case options, of course. The ultimate pen folio. I have a review on that as well, and I'll put the link down below if you want to see what that looks like. And oh my god, we have new Sherpa throws. Again, I haven't seen this, so I'm reacting to it as well. I didn't see that they had new Sherpa throws. I'm really excited about the mid-century circles one. I also have a review of the Sherpa throw if you want to check that out on my channel. And then I think these are the last items. Let's see. We have some lunch totes in the same designs as we saw previously previously. And yeah, I think that's about it. So many new options. And I hope that that was helpful in seeing everything. Definitely go back, rewind, pause, make your list. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my document. Just so excited. But I have in front of me one of the new options, which is the daily duo in the mid-century circles. I flipped through it really quickly and I'm so excited to share the similarities, the differences, and just the new design, which is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said before, I do have a lot of accessories that I can talk about and show you, especially the sticker book, which I always love to see in these videos because I want to know what all of those pages look like. But let's go ahead and start with the daily duo. So just like before you get two books, one going from July to December of 2021, so the rest of this year, and then the other one from January to June of 2022. And look at how gorgeous this is. Okay, we'll definitely get into it. And it did come with this little welcome kit, which we'll also talk about. Now, if you notice, my covers are a little bit different than what I had showed you in that document. So mine are both customized and they're both the same purple, really gorgeous lavender purple mid-century circles. One of them you'll get to personalize and the other one will come in the standard mid-century circles cover without personalization. So just keep that in mind. I think they just sent it to me like this because it was a little bit easier maybe to have them both be the same like this. But again, I just want to make sure you're aware that that is not necessarily what's going to be happening. Okay, so let's flip through one and I can show you the other one as well, but it's going to look really similar. We'll spend a little bit of time looking at one and then I can flip through the other one a little bit faster. But let's go ahead and take a look. So of course you get the standard ruler with the coiled planners and I love these so much. They're so flexible. I, I like taking one on the go and this is the one of course that I would take on the go and I use it as a bookmark as well. So you do get this little package which I absolutely love with the new life planner launches. There are some compliment cards sticking a little bit that are gorgeous. So you can actually purchase these compliment cards separately if you want to. This is just a pack of three but the other ones are I think a little bit bigger packs but these are absolutely gorgeous. So this one says you're always worthy and of course in that beautiful blush and century circles. This one says I'm so grateful for you. These are I think of some of my favorite ones that we've ever gotten and this one of course in the new flora so so pretty. You're capable of wonderful things. Then we have some gift tags which we always get or some gift stickers. I love using these especially during Christmas time. I like using these too. We have the enjoy sticker. We have some 20% off coupons on the back. There are two of them and then this just explains all of the little gifts that we just got. The circle label 
label which is right here yeah so this little circle label you can use it on the boxes the storage box that i showed earlier in the document and i was also thinking about using this on the cover like when i store my planner and just put it maybe on the corner there and just write what year it was if the cover doesn't say the year which usually mine don't so i would just put it here especially with the daily duo since i'm not going to be using those storage boxes okay so that's the little welcome packet super cute and i love that they always include that i love this design so much and if you saw my teacher review you know i absolutely love it and i got my teacher planner in the same design i love that they match this year they haven't done that before if you're a teacher out there and you got the teacher planner you know what i mean but let's go ahead and take a look at it so this is july to december 2021 again i didn't look at it in depth so we'll kind of look at the differences here together or the similarities so everyone is a work in progress so you still have those six boxes as we did before even though this is a coiled version if you're thinking about the a5 size the pages are going to be exactly the same of course they're just going to be scaled down so a smaller planner but the pages will be the same so right now i am seeing a little bit of a difference so let's turn the page we have our start of july 2021 and of course oh, so pretty i love what they do with the months in the mid-century circles but let's go back a minute so we have this wonderful month but if you notice there's no calendar here so, so let me show you the current daily duo so we can compare really quickly so here is the beginning of it and you had the six boxes which, which look pretty much the same but of course in the new design but then you had the six month calendar with some lines and then the 2022 calendar all here but it looks like here with the new daily duos you don't get any of those calendars like at all it goes straight into the month of July. That's really interesting. I wonder if a lot of people didn't use it. I obviously didn't use it. I really wanted to use the six boxes and possibly this. I don't know. I never got around to using it, but I really did want to. So I don't know if I would, you know, miss it just because I didn't use it. But interesting that they chose not to include that. I am neutral to the change, but maybe some people will miss it. I'm just kind of glad they didn't get rid of these boxes, though. It's, it's nice to have something for goals like this or to pre-plan the rest of the six months. I definitely want to use this. I'm going to show you a little bit of the pages and we're going to talk about the big change this year which is the Saturday and Sunday are on different pages. If you saw my last video on my daily duo review you know how I feel about the Saturday and Sunday but we're going to get into it. Okay so right after the month you have the dashboard pages which is very similar to before. You have a notes page on the left and your dashboard on the right. So the dashboard again looks pretty similar. Let me go ahead and get my other daily duo and maybe I should just keep this open right. I mean that would help. Okay, so you do have the big box, a couple of check boxes there, some lines, and then the dot grid, which is very similar. I don't use the dashboards at all. If you notice, there's some tape here because I just taped them together, but that's that's just me. Okay, so let's move on. So here are the pages, very, very similar to what we're used to, which I absolutely love, just because I love this layout so, so much. We have the hourly, which are the same with the half hour, your to-do list, our blink box, and the calendar that a lot of people don't like, but it looks like we get it for another year. Maybe next year they won't include it. I'm gonna open my page to a blank one here. So again, very similar to what we've had before. So the only big change here, which is not really a big change. I don't know why I said that. It's a small change, but it's the font, right? So it's a little bit more simple font. Here we had a cursive font. This is my current planner. I personally like the cursive font. I actually made stickers in my sticker shop that are very similar to this, but in my own handwriting. And I I'll probably use those to cover this up sometimes just because I do like the cursive writing a little bit better but I see why they did that it's a little bit bolder than the cursive one was all right so let's look at that Saturday and Sunday I noticed something very interesting when I was flipping through it all right so here it is so before we had the Saturday and the Sunday on one page so we had this space for Saturday this space for Sunday and now they went ahead and listened to the customers which I think is really great and really important for a company to do you know if a lot of people are saying they want the Saturday and Sunday needs to be separate i think it's a great thing for them to do from what i've heard it seems that it's going to fit a lot of people's lifestyles it doesn't necessarily fit my lifestyle and again i talked about it a little bit more in my daily duo review but here we are saturday on one page exactly like the other page sunday on the other page so here's the interesting part after the week 
there will be a notes page right before the new week starts. So your Sunday, there's a notes page completely blank and then you start the next week, which is absolutely amazing. Hi everyone. So I had to stop the video because unfortunately I got an email after I filmed this part of the video and I was told that this sample that I received was an incorrect launch product. So what that means is this page that I'm currently talking about, the notes page in between the Sundays and Mondays are not gonna be what's available to the general public. This is a media sample, I was told, and unfortunately, that's not going to be the way that they are going to be sold. So my copies of the of the Daily Duo are not exactly what you're going to be receiving, which is unfortunate because you're going to hear me be so excited about this notes page. I think it's a great idea. I think that the EC teams should maybe include it if people like it. So if you are one of those people who are looking at this that I'm showing and maybe really want that notes page, let me know and I'll pass along that message. Message the EC team and let them know that you saw it and you want it but it seems like they had decided maybe not to go with that notes page i'm gonna try to edit out the parts where i mention it but if you do see it or if i mention it and i didn't cut that out please make sure you are aware that there is going to be no notes page in between the sunday and the monday so, so on the image that you're seeing right now you're going to have sunday on the left and then monday on the right side with no notes page i'm really sorry about this this is what i was sent and i hope it doesn't cause any kind of confusion but if you do have questions go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you so much for your understanding. Now with some months, it gets a little bit weird because here, if you notice, we're gonna get to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the 31st. So this is the last month of, what are we looking at, July. So of course the Sunday would be in August, but we're not gonna have that page here because that's gonna go in the August section. So what we end up with is Saturday, then a blank page, and then we start our August, so gorgeous. And then we have our Sunday. So it's a little bit strange for me because there's a lot of pages in between that weekend. I really love the weekend on one page. I know that that is not a popular opinion, but it was really Really working out for me so it's a little bit strange with the weekend being like that for this month if we go to the end of august we end on a tuesday so that's the 31st of august so you get that blank page again then we go into september you have your wednesday your thursday your Friday, your Saturday, Sunday. So let's just go through the months and the colors because the pages will stay very much the same. You do have these really beautiful quotes, which I've done a really bad job of showing you actually, just because I've been blabbing about the months. All right, so let's see. We saw the July one. Here's the August, rest and joy are essential. September, you're always worthy. Love that so much. And these colors are absolutely beautiful. Give yourself the passion you give to others. That's a great one. Be strong, be brave. Love that blue for November. Powerful mind inspire others. I can't wait for December. December is my birthday month. <laughs> All right, and then at the end, you'll end with your Thursday and your Friday. Friday's my birthday. So we have our notes page, and then we are gonna get to the very end. So let's look at these really gorgeous stickers. These are all new designs, and they're so, so cute. So we have some circle stickers. I love using these, um, especially in the boxes. So here or here, I love they fit really nicely. Of course, these are colorful because we have the mid-century circle colorful. These look very similar to what we've seen before. I just realized that these are in Spanish. I was looking at this in my camera, and I'm like, why do these words look so weird to me? And I actually love this so much because I'm fluent in Spanish and I'm Mexican, so I would definitely use these. But yeah, they're in Spanish. I think it must have been a mistake on their part in terms of the stickers that we got for um, our reviews, but I... I don't know. I love them. I will use them for sure. I know this wasn't intentional, but I like it as a little surprise. Okay, so we get our typical flags here. We have our beautiful folder at the very end, which I love to use a lot. And we get... What is this? I love these so much. So these are holiday stickers that are not included in the monthly spreads in the Daily Duo. So you can go ahead and add these if you want to. And they are just more inclusive. They include more cultures and a bunch of holidays that are not typically put into calendars. So we have some like coming out day, LGBTQIA plus history month begins, International Women's Day, Transgender Day of Remembrance, Pride Month, National Latina Heritage Month begins. Like there's 
so many different holidays that aren't typically added to any calendars that I know of and I'm so glad that they're including this. I really love this so much. I'm so glad that they're including that with all of the live planners. Okay and then finally in the back you have your perpetual calendar. So just a cute little calendar for some maybe dates that you want to pre-plan or events that you want to make sure you write down so you remember when you're doing your monthly spread or when you're planning ahead. And then in the back you have some contacts and some important passwords. So very similar to the perpetual calendars that we've seen before. I love using these for pre-planning and to write all the birthdays and any events that I already know are going to happen for the next six months. I love that that's included as well. So that was the first book and I will be using that this year. So I'm so excited for the second book for next year, January through June 2022. I'm just going to flip through the colors really quickly. I'm not going to show you every single page just because again, they're very similar. The Saturday and Sundays are still separate. So we have January, February, March, my absolute favorite color, April, May, which is also one of my favorite colors. I just realized I don't think I showed you the other calendars, but very similar to these in those colors. And then July or June, sorry, of course, June. And then in the back, you will also have another set of the stickers. Again, in Spanish for me, totally fine, I love it. And then the folder as well. So I don't see those same holiday stickers that we saw in this one. Were, they, were these for the whole entire year? Sorry, I didn't check before I put it away. Yes, these are for the whole year. So you'll have the whole year of additional holidays in one page. I'm so excited to get started in this planner. The designs are beautiful. I think a lot of the changes that they made really went in the right direction, enhancing our productivity, really listening to the customers and how we use these planners. I can't wait till July. And one thing I wanted to show you is if the coil stayed the same size. Now you have to keep in mind that I use quite a bit of washi and stickers. So my my book is just going to be a little bit thicker than our a new one for sure. But I just wanted to see if the coils were the same. So on top you can see how mine is thicker than the new one. What do you guys think? Does it look bigger? The bottom is a new one. Top is the older version. It's really hard to see. To me, it looks a little bit bigger. And of course, that would be because of the Saturday and Sunday pages being on separate pages versus the same. So you do have to accommodate for that, but that could just be my eyes. But I think it does look a little bit bigger. Not significantly, but a little bit. Are you all as excited as I am? I think I'm gonna start writing in this today, but maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see. If you are getting the Daily Duo, let me know in the comments. If you are planning on getting the A5, let me know as well. For me, I think the 7x9 is going to stay my main planner, but I definitely want to try the A5 ring agenda in the Daily. So excited for that. See how it works for me, maybe just for my work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which layout for the Daily you're going to be using. Okay, so let's look at some of these accessories. And of course, I'm really excited because it's all in the mid-century circles. And all of these accessories that you're seeing, minus maybe a couple of these dashboards are also going to be available in the new flora design which is really great so for example we have these snap and bookmarks these i actually have from the teacher planner launch and of course they're just so beautiful and i love using these in both my life planner and in my teacher planner as bookmarks of course and one thing i do want you to note is this only fits on the coiled planners so it won't fit in the new ring agenda and it won't fit in the binder as well i wonder how they could make these actually fit the binder and the new agenda the holes would have to be different but I don't know how that would work. It looks like I forgot to show this earlier and I thought it was an accessory for some reason but this is the code for the free daily duo cover so the code is actually on the back and remember I said that you're going to be able to personalize one cover and then the other cover will come in a standard non-customizable cover so you'll get your code and then you can go ahead and order a free customizable one. Then we also have some really gorgeous mid-century circle sticky notes which again I was able to preview a little bit during the teacher planner launch and I, I love these so much. I use them almost every day, mostly for pre-planning my months. So I'll put a couple of these in the next month and then that's where I will write down events that are coming up that month so that when I'm planning that month, I can go ahead and just look at what I've already written down. And this one right here, I actually like to use in that blank space in the Daily Duo. I've used it a few times in my spreads. I think one of them was on my Instagram, but if you take this one and you put it here, it fits 
perfectly. And what I like to use this for is for gratitude. So I just go ahead and write gratitude and write my little um, sentence. And then I also use it for lists. These longer ones don't fit as well, but you can also fit these box ones. I also like to put that one on top over there. They fit really nicely, or you can use these as well in here. I love that this one fits here though. I go ahead and put some glue on the back or some double-sided tape and then it sticks perfectly, kind of like a sticker. So I really love using them there. I'm definitely obsessed with them and the design. And then of course they are in the snap-in, so you can go ahead and just snap them in here. I like to keep some either in the back or in the front of my daily duo, as well as in my teacher planner. So again, these won't fit the binder or the ring agenda, but they are really great for the coiled versions. Then we have some new dashboards. So these are very similar to what we've seen before, but of course in the new designs. So this one is going to be in the new mid-century circles and it's so pretty, of course. And it's such a gorgeous design. I love how they changed the colors from the top here and the bottom here, but look at how many to-dos you have. If you never use these before, they are wet erase. So as you can see, they're laminated and you just use any kind of wet wipe. I usually just use like water or something to wipe it off with. I just love how this one has a million to-dos. This one's definitely going to go in my teacher planner, but so let me show you what this looks like in the seven by nine because I've only really used it with my teacher planner because that's where I have a million and one to-dos. Sorry, it's taking me a minute. I think it's because I already have this one here. Okay, so there we go. So again, it fits really nicely. It does stick out a little bit on the bottom, but the cover kind of covers it a little bit, so it's not so bad. And it does stick up a little bit on the top, so you can also, well, actually, it's pretty much level to the cover, so you can use it as a bookmark too. That's also great. And on the back, you have the whole week, which is fantastic for the Daily Duo if you want to pre-plan. I can see myself like pre-planning meals just because there isn't a ton of space. And then we have this checklist or a tracker. So this one I've seen used for chores, and a different family member so like a, so like a chore tracker of course and then also for habits like tracking your water your exercise your steps all of that great stuff um just super super versatile i definitely feel like it's a great um chore tracker for sure and then on the back it's completely blank it just has a nice quote if a plan doesn't work change the plan not the goal love that kind of watercolor blue that's really pretty so again something that will fit in your cold planner you can use your wet erase and then as always we have the sticker sheets that are in the back of the planner of available separately. So the great thing about this is I actually really, really love these stickers, but sometimes I like to use the more neutral ones. So if you look at the Just My Type, which is technically the neutral version in this launch, and you like those stickers that are less colorful, you can actually purchase them separately without having to buy the whole planner. So let me show you how these are the same. I know you probably believe me, but I just want to show you anyway. So those are the same and they come in that pack of four. These are in English. These are in Spanish in my book. Book, which I was contacted about and it was just a little mistake so nothing to be worried about I'm actually filming the next day so the daily duo part I filmed the day I got this box and now I'm filming the next day it takes a little while to film everyone so here's the celebration ones again same same and then we have those um, more like flags as well so and again if you like the neutral version definitely get that I'm going to be getting that for sure I love the neutral versions to use in my planners all right so next we're gonna have the new ballpoint pen so this one is in the mid-century circles design so there will also be one in the floral design so that light blue floral that I showed you earlier in the document will also be available with this ballpoint pen and I believe the pen that we get as a free gift if you order while supplies last will also be kind of this type of pen with the gold accents but it will be in a kind of a cherry blossom mid-century circles color so it'll be kind of I guess like this pinkish color on this pen which is really great I don't know if the gift will come with a box though so don't quote me on that I don't know it doesn't show it on the picture it just shows the pen but this pen is absolutely gorgeous of course it goes with everything I'm not a huge fan of ballpoint pens so these aren't necessarily my favorite and I wouldn't go out and actually buy them just to use I've bought other pens before because they were really pretty even though they were ballpoint pens but they're not my favorite to write with I know that there are some gel pens of Available on the site but they really need to start making these into gel they're just so beautiful and if they offer the gel pens I'm sure they would probably sell out because they're beautiful and of course the gel pen would have to be a good gel pen but I would much much rather prefer a nice gel pen but I can't deny the beautifulness of this pen and this box of course is so pretty So keeping with the mid-century circles theme let's look at a few more items that are in that same design we have a sticker book some washi and this wonderful planny pack
pack as well. Let's look at the planning pack first. So I have maybe like two or three of these that I absolutely love because I love the flat design. I love the way it feels. And I actually think I have a review of this as well, which I will link down below. I feel like I have a review of almost everything here, but I of course am loving this design. So beautiful. It has a gold metallic accent and the inside is this really beautiful um, ivory color. I think it's so pretty. And of course with this gold band. And if you're new to the planning packs, I would highly suggest them. They fit a lot of pens. They fit stickers right here, which I love. And of course you have the band so you can put it over your planner. So this is a daily duo seven by nine and that fits perfectly there. And then you can carry all your pens around your house, outside, wherever you want. I really love how portable it is. And of course the design is gorgeous and the quality is really great as well. And again, I think we saw the flora available in this as well, which I am definitely considering very much. And so let's get into some of these kind of fun washi and the sticker book, which I'm really excited about. So first we have the mid-century circles. So this one is very similar to one that we got in the winter surprise box last year. And that is one of my favorites. I might've used it in my plan. So here's the one that was in the winter surprise box. So again, kind of similar to that, except this one has more gold foil on it. So here it is on the paper. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love this winter surprise one. I actually have two of them because I had to buy a couple of extra ones from someone, but this one is really gorgeous. Of course, more gold. This is going to be one of my favorite ones. I definitely need to get one more roll of this. And then of course, the mid-century circles in the colorful. And of course, this one's gorgeous as well. I think I'm going to be using this one for my spread on the launch day. I think it's going to be very fitting and super beautiful. So I definitely recommend these. I think the quality of them are much better than what I've used previously. And of course, these are going to be available in that floral design as well, which I love so much because if you don't want the floral planner like me, you can always get a lot of the accessories in the flora and you can have a little piece of that floral design in your planner. I love that so much. Now, before we go into the sticker book though, I wanted to just show you the fine tip markers. I think I've also reviewed these and tested all of them, but this is a new little kind of pack that is available previously. You either had to buy four separate packs or all the packs kind of just came together but separately. This is now this really wonderful set of 24 fine tip markers with the entire pack all together which is like a dream. I mean look at this case. First of all, this case is absolutely wonderful. Usually when I find things like this, they're really flimsy or, you know, they're going to crack. This actually feels super durable and this little latch works so well. It opens really smooth and then you have all of the pens. I am so in love with this case and they're all in order by color and that's definitely making me really happy. So if you haven't tried these already, this is a really great pack to get, especially now with this case. And again, I have a video on these and I tested them if you want to check that out. This one is definitely going with me to school. It'll be nice nicely stored and then I can just take them out when I want to use them for my students. All right, so last but not least is our sticker book. So again, these stickers will also be available in that floral design, but, but of course we're looking at the mid-century circle. So it says celebrate all the wins, big and small. So like I said before, there's a lot of new design stickers. There's new layouts, there's new just shapes. So you're going to see a lot of different ones than we're kind of been used to. So here you have a lot of really cute circles that you can use to mark. I love using these, especially in my monthly spreads. And then you do have kind of the typical quotes that we usually get, but now they're just in this gold foil with not a lot of color to them, which I love. I love putting these again in that white space on the bottom of the daily duo so like right here or sometimes i put them up here as well the colors are gorgeous and of course they match all of the mid-century circles colors and then these are a little bit new so the font is the first thing that i noticed it is a new font that they seem to be using so that font looks very similar to the to-do font in the new daily duo that i said i liked but i prefer the cursive one very similar font that kind of lowercase more bold font and of course you have all of these different like day flags here, the mid-century circles and all the different colors. I love these smaller ones too. They're really cute. And then we have some, these are a little bit more of what we're used to, right? These kind of half circles. These are nice though. They're not really big, but they are big enough probably to fit. Again, I'm just, I should just keep this open. I think I'm going to keep this open. I'm going to keep it right here because I'm sure I'm going to be referring back to it, but these look like they fit perfectly right there, right to the right of the calendar. I love it when the stickers fit in these little spaces, just because it gives it a little bit of pop of color. And then you can just write a little note about that day. And these, oh my gosh, look at these mid-century circles 
Girls Gold. They're gorgeous. If I didn't love the design so much, I would be a little upset that there's like a gold foil. Can we write over the gold foil? I think we can. I just want to pull this off so you guys can see how big these actually are. Oh, okay. I thought the foil on the outside was going to be thicker, but it's actually pretty thin. So you can see that the gold foil just kind of stayed on the sticker paper there, but these, these are absolutely beautiful. And again, you can fit them here. You can fit them here. Here, I mean, they fit anywhere. I think they would fit. Would they fit? I shouldn't take, let me take this one off so I can show you if it fits. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Okay, I'm definitely using these in my monthly spreads. Love these so much. All right, let's go on to the next page. So these are definitely different than what we're used to. And I love the variety because when I get these sticker books, I really do want different kinds of stickers and not just kind of the same over and over in different designs. These are wonderful. And I kind of wish we had more of these in different colors. That would be really great. So then we have these little tiny ones that have a little quote. You got this, make it happen, dream big. I wonder what we can put in the little circles here. Maybe like a to-do. They are quite small, as you can tell maybe from my fingers, but they are are um, smaller so you can't really write a ton do your thing so these could fit really nicely oops like right here but again they're pretty small so I wonder if you can put like maybe one to do or something that's happening that day I think my favorite and probably most used is going to be the you got this and then we have some really great washi so I have said it so many times before I really wish that the EC team would give us some washi books so just a whole book of washi so just this page and all of the designs I would be so ecstatic with that because I always love the designs that they give us so here we have some mid-century circles, some thicker washi, some thinner washi, and then this one has a quote. It says, create, motivate, inspire, and that kind of cherry blossom color. I love this so much. And what does this one say? Dream, plan, do believe and then it repeats and then we have some really cute bullet point mid-century circles kind of like the other larger stickers like i said so many different designs this year and look at this as well right it's so different first of all i love using the asterisks i use a ton of them i would use them every single day if i had enough of them just because they add a little bit of cuteness and prettiness especially in the days where i don't use a lot of washi i like to just put some of these down and it just makes the design or the spread pop a little bit more without having to use so much but we get a bunch of them we weekends, vacation, reminders, and these are pretty decent sizes. These will definitely fit here in um, this little area or down here, or you could probably put them um, on as a header as well. So I like that there's different fonts as well. So you have some cursive and then just some regular font as well. And so we have more of those boxes that were kind of similar to, to these, right? And just the different colors. Oh, I love that so much. I want to use those this week for sure. And then we have some really pretty flags, again, in the mid-century circles, some really really fancy looking gold ones here. So we have important shopping list, dinner plans. Did I miss one? No, I think that's it. I love all of these pretty designs. And look at this blue. Oh my gosh. I need a whole entire sheet of just these variations of blues. Those are so pretty. These green I can probably do without, but I love, love these blues. And so these are in platinum, right? These are in gold. These are in platinum and they look like they're very similar. Oh no, there's a little bit different. So this one says remind. It's a plan, goal, and then it keeps repeating there. So, so many flags. Okay. And then we have more of those half circles. So more of this really pretty cherry blossom. I think this is rose gold foil and just some more boxes and then I think that's it but like I said a lot of new formats for the stickers a lot of great options that we get this year I love seeing new designs like this because I have so many similar ones that I don't necessarily use all of the time and I love adding some to my collection that are a little bit different not necessarily all the same kind of format I think this is definitely one of my favorite sticker books for sure I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful in helping you make your final decisions on what you want to purchase for launch I don't typically like to plug my affiliate link. I don't really like to do any kind of promotions of myself, which is weird because I have my own business and that's like a huge part of it. But I really want to grow this channel and I want to get a better camera and get better equipment for you guys to make these videos a little bit better. If you want to help me do that, I'd love for you to use my Erin Condred affiliate link. There's absolutely no extra cost for you. I just get a small percentage of that sale for basically referring you. And again, there's absolutely no cost to you. It's going to help me improve these videos and just continue to give you this content. I really love doing this. 
business and if you have been following me for a while you know i use all of the products and everything that i say is my honest opinion and again i would also love for you to continue to join me every week by subscribing i have so much more content to come and i'm so excited to have you with me let me know what you're gonna get at lunch i am so excited to see what everyone's gonna choose are you gonna mix the flora and the mid-century circles designs with your accessories i'll definitely be posting my list on instagram and i can't wait to see yours i'll see you next week bye everyone Thank you.